The idea of a carbon border tax is gaining ground in the United States and the European Union. The idea is to impose additional costs on high carbon imports, such as steel and aluminium, that come from countries with less strict climate policies. At the same time, suppliers at home could get a carbon-related rebate to help boost their exports. Hello everyone, welcome to Topic of Today. In today's video, we shall be discussing about the carbon border tax. Now recently, a group of countries including India has opposed the carbon border taxes policy at the COP27 in Sharm el Sheikh, Egypt, saying it could result in market distortion. So let us discuss what is carbon border tax. The carbon border tax involves imposing an import duty on a product manufactured in a country with more lax climate rules than the one buying it. As a price on carbon, it discourages emissions. As a trade-related measure, it affects production and exports. Now talking about the EU's, the carbon border adjustment mechanism is a plan from the European Union to tax carbon-intensive products such as iron and steel, cement, fertilizer, aluminium and electricity generation from 2026. If implemented as planned, EU importers will have to buy carbon certificates corresponding to the carbon price that would have been paid in the European Union if the goods had been produced locally. Now, the price of the certificates would be calculated according to the auction prices in the EU carbon credit market. The number of certificates required would be defined yearly by quantity of goods and embedded emissions in those goods imported into the EU. Let us discuss arguments in favour. For the EU, CBAM would be neither a tax nor a tariff, but a policy measure. The EU claim the tax will benefit environment and by equalising the price of carbon between domestic products and imports, the EU claims to promote fair competition, levelling the playing field between the European Union and the non-EU businesses. Now let us discuss some of the arguments against it. The basic group comprising India, China, Brazil and South Africa said in a joint statement that unilateral measures and discriminatory practices such as carbon border taxes that could result in market distortion and aggravate the trust deficit among parties must be avoided. They say it puts the burden of climate compliance on developing countries when historically they have done much less to pollute the environment and yet are often more vulnerable to the effects of climate change. If designed unilaterally, it tends to be seen as unfair by trading partners. Now, there is a risk that it becomes a protectionist device, unduly shielding local industries from foreign competition in so-called green protectionism. The EU CBAM proposal contains various controversial aspects. For example, how to fairly account for emissions related to the production of imported goods. Another one is how to duly consider the costs that company already face in complying with the climate regulations in exporting countries. So what are the options for EU's trading partners? First of all, the partners may choose to retaliate imports coming from the European Union. Countries could decide to impose barriers on EU import in response. Further on, adopt their own CBAMs for climate reasons, economic interests or as a response to the European Union countries could start adopting their own carbon border taxes. Following the European Union announcement, the US is now considering this. A similar scheme is in the making in Canada. Further on, partners may challenge the EU CBAM. Trade specialists have been discussing the consistency of the European Union proposed mechanism with multilateral rules. A World Trade Organization dispute against the EU is possible. Moreover, the partners may choose to negotiate exemptions with the European Union. It may seem reluctant though, negotiating exemptions with the European Union ultimately means bowing to a scheme often seen as an imposition from the European Union on others. Well, this was a little bit about the topic. Now, let us take up one practice question on the same. Consider the following statements relating to the Carbon Border Adjustment Mechanism, CBAM. First, it is a plan from the European Union to cut tax carbon intensive products such as iron and steel, cement fertilizer, aluminium and electricity generation from 2026. Second, under it, the European Union importers will have to buy carbon certificates corresponding to the carbon price that would have been paid in the European Union if the goods had been produced locally. Now, which of the statements given above are correct? You can take a moment and write your answers in the comments section below. So, as we know, both of the statements are correct with respect to the CBAM. Therefore, the correct answer is option C. That is both 1 and 2. 
and with this we call it a wrap of today's edition of topic of the day i hope you like the video for further details you can also check out the daily current affairs section on our website and for more such videos do stay tuned to the next ias youtube channel